Good morning, this is Sace, and it's a beautiful Sunday morning here in July, Lake Washington. I'm uh, really excited today because it's the first day that I'm taking out my brand new boat. It's a 2016 Skeeter ZX225 with a Yamaha 225 SHO in the back. Um, it's a big upgrade from what I used to have, which is a 2001 ZX190 with, with a 150 HPDI. It's a great motor, great boat, had it for 12 years. It was a, a four years old when I bought it, um, served me well, didn't have a whole lot of problems, put me on a lot of fish, um, and it was, a, it was a nice boat, and it was easy to stay with the Skeeter brand, um, and again, I'm pretty excited about this because uh, it's, it's bigger, wider, um, you know, just shy of 20 feet. Um, it, it's going to, you know, hopefully get me to about 70 miles an hour, if not a little bit more. Um, so, but it's the stable ride and the bigger platform that I'm, I'm really excited about. Um, but I'm going to start up here for the very, very first time and uh, see what it sounds like here. Super quiet. And that's where the Seahawks practice right there. Go Hawks. First hour is done. That was brutal. It's like being forced to be on the freeway, but you can't go more than six miles an hour, and there's no other cars on the road. That's what it felt like. Uh, at least there's, you know, the weather's nice and no pleasure boaters out here throwing up a bunch of wake or anything like that. So anyway, we got another hour to go. This time I'm gonna actually get on plane without uh, full throttle so and keep it there for another hour so this should you know be around that 20 miles an hour I'm thinking I'm guessing I don't know and uh, get that over with and then then I can open her up a little bit more and see what it's really like um, but anyway second hour now I get to push it a little harder here I gotta get on plane without Full throttle. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it there now, so. Oh, that engine just sounds great. So quiet, you don't even hear anything at all. And I'm at about 3,000 RPMs right now. Trim's all the way down right now. I'm going about 27 miles an hour, so this is what I'm going to be doing for the next hour. Woo! Hour two is done. So now I can actually drive the boat like normal. I just can't keep it uh, at full throttle for more than five minutes at a time. Which, in where I'm at, Lake Washington, Sammamish, and things like that that I fished, um, those are the, the, the bigger lakes around here. You're not going to go 70 miles an hour for five minutes anyway. So um, i got eight more hours of breaking it in, and then I'll bring it in for service. Now I'm just going to go actually fish a little bit. I'm going to take it easy. i gotta, I got to get up and relax my back a little bit. I've been sitting on the chair here for two hours, even though they're comfortable seats. But still, two hours of sitting down, not good. Anyway, hopefully I can get a first blood, you know, get get some get some fish on the on the boat here to break it in. So that's that's really how to break it in. Come on, fishy, fishy! I just want one today, just one. You know what? I actually don't know if I've caught a fish here in this lake all year. I don't think I've only been here twice early in the spring 
when the weather was still pretty cold, water temperature was in the 40, 50 degrees, and I just never actually fished after that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I've caught a fish here yet. So, which is not normal because this is a great early spring fishery. Even people now are coming out here in the winter time and I've caught fish here in February and you know water in the 40 degrees deep 30 40 50 feet of water but I haven't fished much all year I actually didn't actually yeah I have, didn't catch a fish here all year because the first fish I caught was at potholes during a at a tournament so yeah it's kind of been a slow a little bit of a slow year for me this year so Hopefully this all change. Maybe different luck with a new boat. <laughs> it actually doesn't really matter what type of boat you have. You still gotta go catch them. Fish should be out in these weed lines in that 20 feet of range. I'm just fishing a little four inch warm on a drop shot. Quarter ounce weight. Again, targeting more in that outside weed line, these deeper docks. Hopefully they're in the shade. Right full moon last night, so I don't know if I've probably been feeding heavily overnight, especially after all the boat traffic. It's been really, really nice lately, so it's been a lot of boat activity, a lot of people out. That definitely has an effect on the fish. And with the bright full moon, they were probably out just gorging themselves. After these fish spawn and they're in that post-spawn mode, it's, they can be a little tough. Of course, the bigger fish goes down deeper and, you know, they get a little more scattered a little bit. People ask, actually ask me all the time if there's a lot of fish on Lake Washington. They're actually surprised when I say, yeah, I fish Lake Washington quite a bit. And uh, I show them pictures of the fish I catch and you know they don't they don't really think about it too much because it's right smacked in the middle of the city and you know they're most of the time it's just more pleasure boaters so definitely a lot more pressure now than it used to be I think with the salmon fishery being as tough as it is with all the rules and regulations and disagreements between the tribes and just the low number of, of fish that's out there. I think people are changing it up a little bit and targeting different species. I think, you know, with Facebook and social media and people posting up pictures, you know, more people out there, it seems like it, at least for me, that there's more people out there catching fish or bass now than ever before. Oh, there's a fish. There's a small mouth, a really small, small mouth, but it is the first fish on the new boat. Nothing, shouldn't even set the hook. <laughs> Well, first outing on the boat, at least I didn't uh, get skunked. Now I just need one that's about 10 times that size.
There's one. Ah, oh, it's not a small one. Oh, something's chasing it. I don't know what that was. That trout, squawfish, or something chasing it. So, explain this to me. This is this is what I don't get. So you got this whole lake, wide open area, and the water skiers has to ski like right next to the buoy. I, I just don't understand it. You know, you got this whole lake, it, it's huge. Why do you have to go right next to the buoy? Like what's the whole point? I, I just don't get it.